I will never forget reading The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Sklut. I was pretty young when it was published, but I remember reading it in college. It was the first time I felt that my brain was growing, and I felt this tremendous sense of relief. I was scared that I would never have a chance to do something great like this, but I knew that I was going to be able to do something great, no matter what it is. In our society, reading is regarded as a sign of success. But how well do you know the difference between a good book and a bad book? A good book can teach you something you didn't know before. A bad book can cause you to scare yourself to death. Reading books is one of the best ways to improve your knowledge and intelligence. There are many books available on the market that can help you to get smarter. Reading books is a great way to become smarter. There is a vast world of information out there, and the best way to access it is through books. The following books are all excellent on their own, but they also offer different perspectives on how to make you smarter in no time at all. So in this video, I show you 15 books people should read to get smarter. So before going deeper into the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. So let's get started. So at number one is Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari. Yuval Harari's use of the term smart in this book is not the same as the way we refer to smart in modern society. Harari uses the term smart to describe the power of the human mind to understand the most complex and abstract concepts, to be able to solve problems and be creative in solving them, to be able to impose solutions, and to be able to think quickly and intelligently with the ability to manipulate concepts and concepts into a new and creative form. Number two, Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. Thinking Fast and Slow, the best book I have read in the last year is Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. This 2011 bestseller book is an intriguing account of the way our brain works in the way of thinking and decision-making. How do they differ? Is one of them better? Kahneman seeks to explore this and more about how you can think and become powerful in your decision-making. Number three, train your brain. 60 Days to a Better Brain by DR or Yuta Kawashima. This book will help you boost your brain power and how you use your brain well. It consists of a series of spreadsheets with daily exercises to boost your brain power. This book is a bestseller in Japan due to its ways to boost your brain power. Number 4. A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. This book is written in a very basic way and easy to understand for every person. It makes science so simple to understand. It describes complex science topics in a very simple way. This book is very useful to boost your knowledge about science at a very large rate. Number 5. Stephen Hawking Considered one of the best personalities within recent memory, Stephen Hawking was working on his last project when he died. Considered one of the best personalities within recent memory, Stephen Hawking was dealing with a last undertaking when he kicked the bucket, replies to all the large answers throughout everyday life. Giving his view on the greatest difficulties faced by humankind, Hawking utilizes his dry mind to provide his thoughts on complex topics. Number 6. Cosmos, Carl Sagan Carl Sagan's Cosmos talks about 5 billion years of astronomical history like no other person can. This book shows how expansive and profound Carl's inclinations expand and brings the peruser into a universe of interest. Although the book is essentially about how science has been created in our general public, the book addresses subjects like history, reasoning, religion, and societies. The book is written in straightforward terms and is reasonable to those without a foundation in science. Number 7. Freakonomics, a rogue economist, explores the hidden side of everything, Stephen D. Levitt and Stephen J. Dubner. This book gives us a lesson that we should be careful about trusting society and common wisdom. In other words, the book encourages us to keep our minds alert and break out of the mold in the way we see things. 
it introduces one of the most important topics, which is differentiating correlation from causation. Number 8. The Power of Habit – Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business The book Power of Habit completely describes how by changing habits, we bring a lot of changes in our life and in our daily work routine. The book is divided into three sections, first focusing on the individual, then companies, and finally societies. Number 9. Guns, Germs, and Steel The Fates of Human Societies Jared Diamond Victor of the Pulitzer Prize, Guns, Germs, and Steel is a splendid work responding to the subject of why individuals of specific mainlands prevailed with regards to attacking different landmasses and overcoming or uprooting their kins. This book reveals insight into why the Europeans progressed so much faster than the remainder of the world. Number 10. Six Easy Pieces Essentials of Physics Explained by its most brilliant teacher, Richard P. Feynman. Physics can frequently be wrongly damaged with hatred and everyday social application. Nobody will come closer to describing the basics of our universe as Richard Feynman can. He can make physics natural, opening the numerous delights for everybody to appreciate. Number 11. This will make you smarter. New Scientific Concepts to Improve Your Thinking John Brockman What scientific concept would improve everybody's cognitive toolkit? This is the question John Brockman posed to the world's most influential thinkers. Their visionary answers flow from the frontiers of psychology, philosophy, economics, physics, sociology, and more. Surprising and enlightening, these insights will revolutionize the way you think about yourself and the world. Number 12. Neil deGrasse Tyson I love how Neil deGrasse Tyson carefully labeled his book as astrophysics for people in a hurry instead of astrophysics, explained to the ignorant layman, which is what I would have called it. Just so you are aware, even though this book is tiny, it is not a quick read. Although Tyson does an excellent job bringing the topic down to a beginner's level, the concepts are so deep that it takes some thought to wrap your head around everything. A great primer on a fascinating subject, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry is one of the best books that will make you smarter and a must-read for all the science lovers out there. Number 13. What if? What if your cells suddenly stopped dividing? What if everyone only had one soulmate? Randall Munro, the creator of the comic XKCD, answers all the not-so-important questions in life, using humor and a whole lot of science. An enjoyable read, What If, is a book that will make you smarter, but not necessarily wiser. Number 14. Brainiac? In 2004, Ken Jennings won 74 consecutive games of the trivia show Jeopardy! a record that still stands today. In Brainiac, Jennings shares his journey to becoming Trivia King, as well as his explorations into the world of trivia buffs. From college quiz bowls to Boston pubs, Jennings parses out what makes trivia so much more than just meaningless facts. Number 15. Smarter, Faster, Better Do you want to make smarter decisions quicker? Journalist Charles Duvig focuses on eight key productivity concepts that will help you become smarter and illustrates them with fascinating anecdotes and interesting statistics. You'll learn how to find motivation, set goals, make decisions, and manage others in his best-selling book. Do you think books that make you smarter are good investments? Then you are thinking right. So that's it for today's video, I hope you like this video. If you really do, then do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.